Hey guys and gals, happy Halloween and happy Friday flow. Uh, so what are you going to be for Halloween this year? Uh, me, I'm going to be a pirate. I'm going to be a sexy pirate. And for all of you that are also going to have sexy Halloween costumes, I'm betting that fitness, staying and getting, getting and staying in shape is really important. And motivation for that is really important too. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. Uh, sort of a motivation 3.0 approach to getting and staying in shape. And it's three simple things I want to talk to you about. Number one, set your own goals. I don't want you guys accepting some kind of standardized cookie cutter exercise plan. Find one and make one that's tailored to you and it's really important that you set the right goals. Uh, you know the research out there it shows that if we set goals for extrinsic reasons, say to slim down for a wedding or to look better for Halloween, we might reach them but then we gain the weight right back. But people who pursue goals for intrinsic reasons, like to get fit in order to feel good or to stay healthy for their families, you might make slower progress at first, but you'll, significantly, uh, you'll have significantly better results in the long term. That's what really matters. Second, second piece of advice is to ditch the treadmill. That is, unless you really love treadmills. Me personally, I can't stand them. The whole point here is if going to the gym feels like drudgery or some kind of obligation that you keep dreading, then it's not the right type of exercise for you. That's all there is to it. Find a form of fitness that you enjoy. Uh, you know, the key is producing those intoxicating moments of flow within your workout. Fitness is one of the best ways or moving and let me not use the word fitness, moving and playing are some of the best ways to produce those moments of flow. So get some gay friends together for a game of tennis or basketball, join a team, go for walks, dance, play with your kids, whatever it is, but turn your work into play. All right, so that's piece of advice number two. Finally, the third piece of advice is to keep mastery in mind. I always want you to keep mastery in mind. The key here is that getting better at something provides a great source of renewable energy. Uh, when I know that the next time I go rock climbing, I'm going to be just 1% better than the last time I went, and every time I go to wrestling practice, it's another opportunity for me to learn, then I get that energy. I get excited to go. That's my motivation. And you have to find your motivation. And I hope that uh, these three tips will help you do just that. So let's get super sexy for Halloween, guys.